Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. But thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. The mental and physical conditioning to our people from the heathens never ended. The breaking down of the indigenous people continue until this day. The Willie Lynch blueprint the slave masters utilized to control and break down the indigenous people is still in effect in this generation. The slave masters are still brutalizing and controlling black people until this day. The methods they are using to be sure you remain a bondman and bondmaids are subtle. The kingdom of darkness used the heathens to control Israelites via mind control. Whoever controls the mind control the person. The scriptures instruct us to cast down the wicked imaginations from the kingdom of darkness. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. If you don't cast down the wicked imaginations, you give the kingdom of darkness the opportunity to give birth to the imaginations planted in your minds. Israelites, this is why it is important to allow the Most High to renew your minds. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? A transformation of the mind needs to happen in order for you to receive the things of the spirit. If you maintain the old mind in the awakening, you are of no value to the Most High. The kingdom of darkness continue to rule over you. That ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, you have to allow the Holy Spirit to speak truth to you and tell you the things to come. In order to receive truth, you have to operate in the spirit. If you bring the doctrines of religion into the awakening, the spirit of confusion will plague the awakening. The Most High said he's not the author of confusion. There is no way we can accept and support the doctrines learning religion from the heathens and serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. The message from the church and the truth are at odds with each other. They are contrary to each other. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. The heathen's religion culture is set up to please your flesh. The scripture said, you could not please the Most High in the flesh. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Operating in the Spirit brings the manifestation of the Most High's will for your life. Many Israelites are bringing the precepts, interpretation, laws, and wisdom learned from the heathens into the awakening. Everything you learn from the heathens are a snare to you, in addition against the will of the Most High for your life. The Most High must complete the throughout work in you first before he could use you. You cannot have the ideology of men in your heart. You must serve the Most High according to his standards. And that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. The kingdom of darkness created a blueprint on how to subjugate the people of the Most High. Satan utilized the heathens to carry out his plans. Satan deceived the heathens by giving them all the kingdoms of this world. The heathens believed they made a great deal. 
They are ruling in all the nations, overpowering the indigenous people everywhere they go. What the heathens are unaware of is they have nothing to look forward to in the coming kingdom. The heathens have traded their glory for the lesser, just like how Esau traded his birthright for food. The heathens happily accepted Satan's offer and they bow down, serve, and worship Satan. Israelites, Satan made the same offer to Yahshua, offering Yahshua all the kingdoms of this world. There is nothing new under the sun. I am glad the Messiah declined his offer. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. The only reason Satan can make such offer is that the people of the Most High rebelled. When the Israelites made the foolish decision to follow the heathens, it gave the kingdom of darkness control of the physical realm. The heathens know the moment true Israel repent, their time is up. The heathens are working overtime to oppress and persecute you. They need you to remain in sin. Sin separate you from the Most High. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. The longer the Israelites rebel against the Most High, the heathens will continue to dominate over the people of the Most High. Remember, Israelites, nothing happens in this world without the Most High's permission. The Most High also used the heathens to discipline you. When Israelites finally understand and accept the chastisement from the Most High, they will become free and the great exodus from the final captivity can take place. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Too many Israelites believe slavery has ended. Slavery became the employment system. As long as the heathens control your wages, you are a slave to them. Whoever controls the money make the rules. If anyone enters a store without a face mask, he or she would be escorted out of the store. The government mafia made this rule. If the government is established by the people for the people, why the people cannot override the government's recommendations? Everyone must comply or they are unable to get their daily essentials. Those who control the money make the rules. The elites with money are making the rules. The slave masters did not abandon the Willie Lynch blueprint. The heathens incorporate the findings of their ancestors in this generation. The slave masters during our ancestors' time had a separate house for the slaves to dwell. The slave dwelling areas were not pleasant. Today, the ghettos and the jail houses have replaced the slave quarters. Black people believe we dwell in an all-inclusive society. They believe we are free and have equal rights with the heathens. The kingdom of darkness through the synagogue of Satan deceived many Israelites. The beast system is designed to keep you in slavery and the heathens your master. Slavery never ended. Israelites, it is time that you wake up to the fact that you're still in captivity. The scripture said you are bondmen and bondmaids in the land of your captivity. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. We are still dwelling in the land of our captivity. The Most High has yet to deliver his people. Getting comfortable in the land of your captivity is absurd. The heathens treat Israelites like property or investments. It is time that black people wise up. The heathens never abolish slavery. The slave master and slave concept is still here. Slavery has morphed to an all-inclusive mental programming. Only the black community, businesses, and ethnic groups are inclusive. While the heathens, communities, businesses, and racial groups are not but restricted. For example, in the makeup industry, the dominating brands of today deceive black people into believing their companies are all inclusive.
Every time they release a product, there's always that one token black person with one or two product that is supposed to work for every black person. In the meantime, they have a variety of products that work for themselves. Another example, when you shop at the heathen stores, there's always a small ethnic section for beauty products and food. The heathens have a variety of products that work for them. The heathens always seem to make a small section within their establishments with little to no products that work for you. Social media is another example. There is Black Twitter, a space on social media where Black people express themselves for the world to hear. YouTube have a small community created for Black creators called YouTube Black. If the platform was all inclusive, why must YouTube have YouTube Black? If we were living in an all-inclusive society, why must the heathens separate you from everyone else? The heathens invite Black YouTubers that support their ideology and further their agenda to YouTube Black. The creators that support YouTube Black are unaware they're being used. The workers of iniquity need to control the situation. By creating the Black elite group, they are indirectly programming Black people to watch the creators invited to YouTube Black. At the same time, encouraging our people to dismiss the Black YouTubers they demonize and labeled. Remember, your enemies have taken crafty counsel against you. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. The products and services the heathens offer the indigenous people in their establishments are small in comparison to the products and services available to the heathens. The heathens always had the majority state, yet we live in a society that supposedly overcame racial bias. You do not overcome racial discrimination by sweeping it under a rug and censoring those who are not afraid to discuss the hard truth. Every time I see a special section in the stores for black people, it reminds me of the times when there was a white school and a black school, a white only bathroom and a black person restroom. There is nothing new under the sun. The Willie Lynch effect did not die but transform. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness via the beast system set up an illusion that many Israelites accepted. The workers of iniquity did a phenomenal job of making you believe they did not inherit their wicked parents' genes of torturing you. Israelites, only your communities and everything that is pertaining to you is all-inclusive. The heathens' communities, businesses, and racial groups are restricted. If an indigenous person moves into a community that is predominantly heathen, their neighbors and the police oppress them. The heathens would persecute the indigenous person until he or she move, killed, or lock in a jailhouse. Only the black community have an open door policy. This policy accept everyone into the community. In addition, allow the heathens to plunder our communities and steal our ideas and identity. Without restrictions, the heathens claim what they please. We see this happening every single day. While the heathens are stealing, killing, and destroying, Israelites are complaining of their culture being stolen. When you leave your door wide open, a thief will come and rob you. The scripture said the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. The head of the households and the leaders of our communities allow outsiders into the most sacred places in their life. Then get upset when the enemy comes back and rip them to shreds. The Asians dominate the hair extension industry. Black women are their number one consumers. The Asians will never share with their number one consumer how to become their competition. Notice the restriction? They will build businesses in our communities and black people will welcome them. However, the Asians and other heathens will not help you build a business in their communities. If you manage to build a business in their communities, they will not support your business. Israelites will welcome a heathen. Teach the heathen everything they need to know about our culture. Give the heathen high position in their assemblies, governments, and other important institutions concerning us. Then turn around and get mad when the heathen steal and appropriate the culture. 
The Khazars are a great example. The Israelites taught the Khazars their customs and traditions of the Israelite heritage. When the Christians and Arabs came to convert these nomads to their religion, the Khazars reject Islam and Christianity and took the Israelite customs, add their idolatry, and created the religion Judaism. Today, the Khazars are known as the descendants of the Israelites and assume the identity of the Israelites. The indigenous people that taught them our customs are their slaves today. Black people have been letting the enemy into the communities for a long time. This practice has never been beneficial to our people. The open door policy needs to close and our communities restricted. The black community is the only community that welcomes everything the heathens reject. Why a biracial person considered black? Why the heathen half of them do not accept them as one of them? A biracial person is half and half of each of the DNA that made them. We live in a society that say if one of the parent is black, that makes the biracial person fully black. In the heathens community, the biracial person is not accepted nor considered one of them. Do you see the restrictions in the heathens community? The heathens treat the biracial person poorly, just like how they treat everyone of color. Israelites, can you discern the subtle programming done to the indigenous people? Satan's goal is to live undetected among you. As long as a person is unaware of the influence from unclean spirits, the kingdom of darkness have total control of that individual. The heathens proclaimed slavery was abolished when the mental programming of our people was complete. The mental anguish of our ancestors along with the physical abuse suffered in the hands of the enemy has psychological effect on our people. Our ancestors passed down the dysfunction to the next generation. In every generation, the heathens find a way to reinforce the psychological damage done to our people. The Willie Lynch blueprint never dies but transforms in every generation. Presently in this generation, the heathens are enforcing the mental trauma through police brutality and the rise of the spirit, the world named Karen. The Karen spirit is nothing but the Jezebel spirit masquerading. Remember, you are more spiritual than physical. When the Jezebel spirit descend upon the heathens, it stir up the slave master mentality, the mentality of wanting control by any means necessary. The Jezebel spirit disguised as Karen pushed the heathens to call the police on Israelites for existing. Influencing the heathens to call the police is the kingdom of darkness way of invoking fear in you. The heathens know if they can get the police involved, you know what the result would be. They say these things to get you to submit to them and to reinforce their dominance. This is a form of control learned from the Willie Lynch letter. Every black person is aware an encounter with the police can be fatal. Nowadays, fearful Israelites will behave according to the heathen standards to save their lives. They do not want any problems with the police. They will do what the heathens say. This is one way the Willie Lynch blueprint is in effect in this generation. Israelites, it is important to make no covenant with the spirit of fear. Fear will disable you. The heathens are trying to intimidate you to keep their power over you. The Most High gave you power over the entire kingdom of darkness and by no means could they hurt you. You must remember that. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The heathens cannot afford for Israelites to know who they are and how to connect to the power and authority the Most High has given to them. In order to reinforce their dominance, the heathens orchestrate with the kingdom of darkness to send the heathen women possessed with the Jezebel spirit to become a menace to you. The Jezebel spirit named Karen in this generation believe they have the right to tell you what to do. In addition, you must answer when they speak. If you do not submit, they will call the slave patrol. The modern day slave patrol are the men and women in blue that always fear for their life and kill Israelites for fun. Nothing new from what our ancestors endured during their generations of oppression. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness will come to attack. Remember, you are not exempt from their attacks. You must stand your ground. Unclean spirits will always try to establish covenants. Never submit to them when they try to intimidate you by sending the heathens to scare you into submission. 
The scripture said, submit to the most high, resist the devils, and they would flee from you. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. The rise of police brutality is a direct transformation from the Willie Lynch blueprint of how the slave masters broke down a buck in front of other slaves to invoke fear. The heathens calling the slave patrols to enforce dominance is the same thing. The slave patrols come with excessive force to set an example by killing Israelites. Witnessing these killings would scare black people into submission. The Israelites who reject knowledge and those who reject the Most High are scared. Israelites are on their best behavior when the slave catchers and the Jezebel spirit called Karen in this generation persecute them. They do not know how to fight back. They know how to submit to devils to save their lives. When you submit to devils, you lose your life. Try submitting to the Most High and save your life. The Most High did not give us the spirit of fear. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. You must stand your ground. Israelites, you are an asset to the heathens. Assets appreciate. When the heathen act as if they don't need you, they say go back to Africa, and the many insults they send your way, this is their way of securing their assets. The heathens need you, Israelites. Without you, they would be bankrupt. If black people decide to move to Africa and other black countries, the heathens will make it appear as if they do not need you and support your decisions to leave. Many Israelites and black people in the diaspora left in 2019. In 2020, the coronavirus appeared shutting down the world, enabling many to travel. I wonder why. The so-called pandemic served many purposes. One was to keep their slaves grounded. That way you can't leave to build your own. In addition, they want to secure their position in your country first. When you arrive, they will already control the land. If you have ears to hear, let them hear. The rise of heathens wanting to fight with you is another way they're stopping you from leaving and building your own. The high level workers of iniquity know the consequences to your departure. The low level heathen civilians have no clue. If you leave, it would devastate the heathen nations. You are an asset, not a liability. The remnant being saved is another reason the heathens need you to stay in their nations. With the remnant dwelling among the tares, it delayed the Most High from destroying the nations. If the remnant were to depart, we would have another Sodom and Gomorrah situation happening in the heathen nations. And the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. The times of the heathens will soon end. Israelites, the Most High did not give us the spirit of fear. Do not forge covenants with the spirit of fear. When the Most High awakened you, he delivered you. You are no longer under the Willie Lynch mind control abuse. The Most High set you free. Only the wicked among us are trapped under the Willie Lynch spell. When the Most High awakened me, he has also given me wisdom and truth through his spirit that dwell in me. The Holy Spirit dwell in you. The spirit of the Most High is revealing truth. Have an ear to hear, Israelites. The Most High will fight for you. Israelites have to make the decision to receive help from the Most High. The wisdom is out here for those who seek to be delivered from bondage. Do not let the kingdom of darkness rob you from receiving your deliverance. Learn to live among the heathens. Do not learn their ways. The heathens can collaborate with the kingdom of darkness to maintain their power. Israelites, it is written, they will soon lose their power, regardless of what strategy they come up with. Understand your value. Don't be fooled by the beast system. The Most High is delivering his people. It is up to you to find your portion. Israelites, the choice is yours. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the greater transgression. Let the words of my mouth 
and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer.